Today, I want to show you Command Line Parser. Command Line Parser is a library for the .NET platform that enables us to create beautiful console applications and makes argument parsing as simple as possible. Command Line Parser has over 3000 stars on GitHub and supports C Sharp and F Sharp console applications. The open source project has more than 80 contributors. I'm sure that if you watch until the end, you'll also use Command Line Parser for your next project. A few years ago, I already created a video about how to create modern-looking C-sharp console applications. The video features console tables, command.net and easy console. A few weeks ago, I had to build a code generator utility for a project at work. Besides the libraries I used in the other video, I came across command line parser and immediately used it for that project. In this video, I want to show you the basics of using it and highlight some of its most valuable features. Installing command line parser is as simple as opening the NuGet package manager for a console application, searching for command line parser and installing the latest stable version of the library. I'm a huge fan of async await and the asynchronous programming model in .NET. Therefore, we will use the async versions of the library. However, there are also synchronous APIs if you prefer to use them. Let's take a look at the following example. We have a parser class from the command line.parser namespace, which exposes a default property. The default property has a generic parse arguments method. We can use a Fluent API to turn the parser result object into an awaitable task of parser result and await the method. There is a lot going on, but in the end, this line of code reads the console application arguments, parses them, and executes an asynchronous method with the parsed program arguments as its parameter. Now, let's define an option class. The option class defines the program arguments we want to parse when the application starts. The command line parser package offers an option attribute with multiple constructors. We can define a short name, a long name, whether the property is required or not, and a help text. The help text is displayed when a user uses the dash dash help option when executing the program or when the program arguments are in the wrong format and cannot be parsed. Command line parser offers a default help out of the box. Let's start the application. As you can see, the parsing fails because we defined the output path property to be required and we do not provide an output path in the debug settings. I really like the default message generated by the command line parser library. Let's provide an output path argument to the console application in the debug settings of the console application project. I use the ctemp directory here. We start the application again and the program executes. Now, let's set a breakpoint to access the program arguments. We can see the parsed string in the options method argument. Next, we want to add some IO code to make this example do some real work. We use the output path provided by the application arguments and path.combine to build a file name. Next, we use the file.writeAllText async method to add text to the file. Again, we use the async method using async await. The option attribute offers many more sophisticated declarations. For example, we could define min and max values, group properties and much more. So far, we have only started the application using Visual Studio. Let's use a terminal to see the application from a user's perspective. First, let's start the application without providing anything as the argument to see the default output generated by the command line parser library. We can see the name of the application, its version and the copyright information, which we all didn't explicitly set in the program. We also have an error list mentioning the missing output path argument. Let's check the version and the help commands automatically added for us. As you can see, the version command and the help command generate an easily readable output based on the parser's configuration. Finally, let's provide an argument for the output path. We use the same path as before. Command line parser offers in my eyes the best parser for command line arguments, 
For future console applications, I'll definitely use it to create a great user experience and save time during development. It can do a lot more than I have shown in this short video. Check out the GitHub page to learn more about its highly valuable features. Also, thanks to the main contributors and everyone else contributing to this open source project. If you regularly use another open source.net library or our maintainer, let me know in the comments or send me a message on Twitter. I might cover your tool in a future video and help spread the word about it. See you in the next video.